Investors participating in a class action against Standard & Poor's have been given the green light to argue the ratings agency deceived them into believing risky financial products were safe investments. The federal court has granted leave to investors in the class action brought against S&P by global law firm Squire Patton Boggs to pursue a tort of deceit claim against S&P over the way it rated a type of structured investment product known as synthetic collateralized debt obligations. Share share on Facebook share share on Twitter tweet link a newspaper headline of US investment bank Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. Photo, AP the fresh argument means the statute of limitations of six years could be extended significantly and help several local councils, charities and super funds recoup their losses on the product. Squire Patton Boggs partner Amanda Banton said it was major development for the case as many investors including local councils and charity organizations, purchased the products more than 10 years ago. Share share on Facebook share share on Twitter tweet link actor Christian Bale in The Big Short, a film that detailed the unwinding of synthetic collateralized debt obligations. Photo, AP it's not that often that the tort of deceit claim is run. If you can get up on a tort of deceit claim it extends the limitations from the six years from the date that you could have found out about the, alleged, deceit, Ms. Banton said. So instead of the normal six year limitation running it can extend the release a lot longer, but you have got to have the right circumstances to be able to make a tort of deceit, she said. Advertisement Titan requests Kodaisho Al Ad Push, Ad Spot Minus 300 Extension 250. Post 3, by arguing they were deceived, investors can claim the limitations period does not apply until they discovered the deceit, rather than it being backdated to when they suffered a loss. You will now receive updates from Business AM Newsletter Business AM Newsletter Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. Investors will now argue that S&P intentionally altered its ratings methodology to rate the SCDOs higher than they would have otherwise been allowed. Share share on Facebook share share on Twitter tweet link The federal court has granted leave to investors in the class action brought against S&P to pursue a tort of deceit claim against the agency. Photo, Louis Duvis S&P is appealing the decision. Local councils from around Australia, charities and other organisations, including some investment houses, have rules that restrict them from purchasing any investment product with a rating below the highest rating of AAA. A synthetic CDO was designed to give investors exposure to a portfolio of fixed income assets such as mortgage-backed securities investors around the world, including hundreds of Australian investors and organisations, piled into the complex product because they were rated as being the highest grade of investment product available the reality was that the quality of these products was far from high grade and were instead made up of low and high quality debts problems with the quality of SCDOs first came to light in the fallout of the global financial crisis SCDOs have become so synonymous with the GFC, they played a starring role in the Holly 